Hello, I hope you are doing well and welcome to the Disneyland Paris vlog of 2018, day 2, part 2, with commentary. This video, but without commentary, is already up since May 24th, because that is my mother's birthday. And back in 2018, my sister and I bought her the Disneyland Paris annual pass, plus the nights at the hotel. Now, a very awesome surprise I encountered in the park. Look at that. Oh my darling Clementine song, which was used in Telltale's The Walking Dead. That was such a surprise encounter here. Just great to hear the song. Yeah, so that's really <laughs> nice surprise to encounter it. Immediately flashbacks by Telltale's The Walking Dead. I even was wearing the Clementine hats that I brought with me because I want to take some pictures with the hat on. Now we are here in Frontierland by the way and well sometimes on repeat you can hear the Clementine song so that's very cool. I'll add some timestamps on this video so that you can skip ahead if you want. I make these videos for fun and hopefully for you to enjoy them and make it like you are here. Um, especially now with the pandemic that's going on. Luckily the Disney park has reopened again. But I'm very glad that I made this footage, especially now then. And I'm not sure if I will go this year. I had a plan to go this year as well, to make it a yearly visit, but sadly that's not the case. Maybe in December or November with the Christmas season, but right now I don't want to risk and go over there during the pandemic. Happy birthday song. Plus there's less magic with the Disneyland Park now with wearing masks and a few rides that are now limited. So I'm actually using the Lumix GH5, so I'm recording in 4K 60fps. Look at that, Pirates of the Caribbean, such an amazing view. We are now from the Adventureland, not in Fantasyland, and we're going to walk towards the Discoveryland. And here you can see the Alice in Wonderland maze. And now you can see the small one on the left. And the guy in front has a nice hat from the Alice in Wonderland, Mad Hatter hat, nice one. Alright, so we are walking towards Discoveryland. There's a pathway between the two lands and sometimes it's uh, closed because of a uh, parade that's going through. But most of the time it's open and it's kind of like a behind the scenes area because there's nothing, there's not even a song uh, playing there. Very helpful to get straight to Discoveryland. This is the fastest way possible. Instead of going to towards the castle and then do Discoveryland. So as you can see here, the gates open and usually the parade comes through here and comes from most of the time I believe from the left, but it could also be from the right. I can't remember exactly. But also the cast members and uh, the Disney figures will go through here as well. Now as you can hear there's nothing here, there's playing sound. 
3D pathway towards land to connect them a little bit. But not a lot of people will use this path. So even though it's crowded today in the park, it's pretty peaceful. So yeah, it's pretty useful to go between the lands. Now here you can see Videopolis. You can enter the building here on the right. And over there it's Star Tours. And just a little bit on the right you can see Eve and Wally. It's a nice statue. So there's a little bit of Wally here. And Hyperspace Mountain is over there. And you see a whole queue, uh, that is the fast pass section. Usually when it's so completely crowded, it means that it has broken down and people can now enter through this section there. So here, Wally and Eve. Here I was trying to get on the train, but it is closed. That's because they closed the train earlier, the railroad train, which is a real shame. I don't know why, because it's really easy to move from now Discovery Land to a different land. And I would have liked that. Um, so now instead we will go <laughs> back towards all towards all the way to Adventureland and we'll ride the Indiana Jones roller coaster. Just had to show you a little bit of the pathway where, the, where we came from, so you had to see the other side of it a little bit. Right, now skipped ahead a little bit, and now we are at Adventureland. You can already hear the Indian Jones ride. And it is called Indiana Jones in the Temple of Peril. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> People are falling down here. That happens sometimes, I guess. <laughs> That's a bit strange. Um, so, um, on the right here, there's a small shop over there. And the right itself is on the left. And to get to the queue, it is straight ahead. Years ago, it used to be uh, a little bit special thing about this attraction that the car that you go through went backwards. That was really amazing to be in there. But yeah. I actually prefer that because it was really special for a roller coaster. Now it's all just forward. Now we are at the queue of the Indian Jones ride. Here you can see a little bit more of the atmosphere of Indian Jones. I really like the movie, so I really love this that they did that. People leave in the queue. Most of the times it's because they decide to not to go because of the queue. Sometimes the queue line is longer than expected. Sometimes the queue time is longer than expected. Now you finally you can see already of Indian Jones things and camp over here. There's lovely details here. 
some statues over there that the Indian has found, probably, most likely. I won't be recording with my camera right of course because otherwise I will lose it and well I'm very certain that uh, you're not allowed to record it maybe with the GoPro but I'm not sure you probably have to be sneaky about that It's not a very long ride, it's just about, I think, a minute and a half or something like that. And you have one looping. It goes by very fast, but it is a great attraction. Another camp over here. Yeah, it looks really cool. Snakes, I hate snakes. <laughs> Some information about the ride. The ride opened on July 30th on 1993. And when it went backwards, it was from April 1st, 2000 to November 27th, 2004. Here you can see how to enter roller coaster cards. Now I have to put my camera away very quickly. I will film now from here, from this point of view. So you can see a little bit more about the ride, how it goes. So first you wait here and then you go slowly towards it and then uh, we'll speed up. as you can see go up there you don't immediately get to the looping and if you go down here in the tunnel you get the looping goes way too fast for our film with camera. There you go.
this is the Indiana Jones shop. There's also another shop that sells Indiana Jones merchandise, which is right next to the Hakuna Matata restaurant. $29.99. This hat with uh, Goofy on it. This is more like a cowboy hat. Which is $24.99. And this is more like the Indian Jones hat, but with the Disney symbol. And it's a bit too expensive to be buying that and then not have truly a hat of Indian Jones. Here have a Disneyland Paris sweater. On the back you have the I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse, Walt Disney. And it cost $64.99, very expensive. And here we have an Indian Jones vest, Indian Jones 1935, time for a hero. You can see Harrison Ford on it. Yeah, I really like this vest. Indiana Jones logo. And there you can see this in Paris. Let me see where the price is at. Don't see the price ticket. Alright, and here you have a shirt of it is $25.99 of Indiana Jones. Now I prefer the vest more. Even though the vest is a bit more expensive I found the price and it is $49.99 and don't forget with the annual pass you can get a little discount about 15% off or 20 depends on what kind of annual pass you have Now that the night is already settling in a bit, you can see the fire over here and it just looks really cool. No, okay, now we have done the EDA Jones ride and just looked at the shop and at the merchandise. We see here a um, shipwreck that is in the Adventure Land and between Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones right and the Pirates of the right. Just as soon as I stopped the recording, at the last second the lights turned on. They made a picture very quickly to show that uh, the lights turned on at 20 past 8. So hopefully the next time I will remember that. Here lie the remains of our ill-fated ship. For many days it had been tempest tossed, now rests it in this gentle cove. Although this good ship will never sail more, its timbers and salvage made possible the treetop shelter of our happy home. Friends are, or friends Robinson. This is a Robinson family shipwreck. Now here we see on the right the Jolly Roger, Captain Hooks his ship. Now here left you can enter like I did on day one, I believe, with David Jones' locker. Now, we are walking towards Pirates Caribbean rides. Now we have the school rock on the right, but as you see, it's getting very crowded here. little sneak peek of the school rock from this side from this angle oh it's getting through here of the strollers now enter to the queue right, let's go in
more people that had left because it's very crowded. But yeah, we want to make sure to go over here. Because like the first day we haven't had, had many attractions because it's so crowded. And we are moving quite quickly here. That's very nice. I think Pirates of Caribbean is one of the fastest to go through with the queue line. And with the song that you can hear, it's really not that mad. It's actually a little bit like rolling here. So sometimes the queue can be very long, but that's not the case here this time. The only difficult thing here is going left or right. Uh, most of the time you should choose for left side because most people go for the right the right queue and as you can see here you can almost immediately go to the broad right yeah we just have to wait We always want to make sure that we wait and be in the front of the boat ride. And especially now that I'm recording, it's better to be in the front and experience the whole ride. And have no issue with people in front of me. Here we go, it's super super fast. You might have thought it would take yeah. a lot longer, but no, that's not the case, luckily. Here we go. We have to wait a little bit over here. So they don't have two rides right next to each other and then you crash into each other because you will go down a qu couple of times. First you have to go up and then you go down. Over there in the lights you can already see there that is the restaurant, the Captain Jack's restaurant. Which is very lovely. We will also visit the restaurant this week. You just have to make sure that you put on a reservation because it's always full there. Because you just have to make sure that once you're here in this land to put on the reservation. So now I will be quiet and for you to enjoy the rides. It is a dark ride, most of the things you can see and luckily there is sound. So yeah, enjoy the ride. Talk to you after the ride. Enjoy!
bust the earth. Stay seated in your boat making until you reach the dock. A crew member will tell you when to stand. You can let go. I stay the same thing. You can let us Would you like a cold living? All right, you land lovers. You're almost ashore now. But you better keep to your seats if you know what's good for you. I don't know how to do this. Was he at best? The rest of come in a seat. He will turn me to the feet. Listen to you, Flores. Don't go rocking the boat. Don't go rocking the boat. So yeah, that was the Pasca B ride. It is really my favorite ride in Disney Park. Now you get out and now you get the other boat right in front of you. So here you see a little fence here on the left. That is a waiting queue for people that are in a wheelchair. Then it's for them to easy to go on the right. And this area here, you can see the pictures taken from the right. I just have to look for a picture of us. And, ah, yeah. There it is. Me with the camera. Let's make sure to lower the camera because last time the camera was right on my face. Now we have left the Pirates Caribbean attraction. We are now going towards pizza restaurant which is called Colonel Haiti's Pizza Outpost which is in Adventureland just a little bit further down from the Indian Jones ride and right next to the Indian Jones store that I actually mentioned earlier I can see the shipwreck from the Robinson family again, but now at night time. Even though it's been a couple of minutes, just the past camera right in the, plus the queue, uh, it's already very dark. It just goes by very quickly. With the lighting it looks so good with the atmosphere. They have positioned it right because uh, um, it is still very clear to see where you walk. Even the restroom over there. Now this is the restaurant where we're going to. The Colonel Haiti's Pizza Outpost. Beautiful lights over there. And you can see a little bit of the top of the Disneyland Paris castle, Sleeping Beauty castle. Now here we see the menu. It's best to go for a menu by the way, but if you're not hungry enough then you just get one, one thing. But uh, menu one you get for $12.99, menu two $13.99 and menu free 14.99 and with the menus you get drinks and dessert as well now we have taken place here beautiful view with the jingle book music here you can see the menu this is yogurt here the pizza if which is a star shaped pizza very cool i believe they have to actually change it now to the round pizza so it's very cool to have this one on, on record in star shape. Probably because it's easy to make the circle one. It's really nice to have the in star shape. Okay, so that's that. Uh, we have eaten over there and now we are walking towards the Disney Castle because it is now closing time 
and with closing time all the cast members make sure that you go towards the exit or at least towards the castle but sometimes they try to direct you to go further uh, because with closing time the animation starts which is the fireworks show I won't show it in this video because it's very long uh, but I will do it in part 3 and I think the fireworks show is about 20 minutes so even though it will be a long video next part it is because of the fireworks now we are in the Aladdin section the marketplace the Agrabah marketplace Here's the marketplace at night time. If you look further straight ahead, you can see already a cast member that here. He is standing over here and making sure you go this way. So we don't want to go yet because we want to visit this Aladdin attraction, which is just a walkthrough of showing the Aladdin story tale. It's actually not this way, but you can go through here and then leave the park. But we don't want to do that, so we go back. We actually go backwards, which is just to make sure that we actually get this attraction today. But yeah, I will show you that in the next part, part number three. Part number three, you will see the fireworks show and the Aladdin attraction walk through. How to leave the park after the fireworks. It's very crowded. I hope to see you next time, like the video if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and thank you for watching and have a magical day or have a magical night.